Hey, it's A Helmet Collector here. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the four panel death card of Willy Schmidt. Uh, so, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, so, on the first panel here, uh, for honor, people, and fatherland, no one has greater love than this that he lay down his life for his own. And then, moving to the interior of the card here, we have a photo of Willy. Uh, after battles, our King Jesus Christ called his faithful servant, Willy Schmidt from Bellinghausen, the Freitern and Infantry Regiment, bearer of the Womb Badge and the Infantry Assault Badge, to himself in his heavenly kingdom. Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Pancratius, uh, which is a Roman martyr who was beheaded for his faith at 14 and 304 AD, let us not mourn that we have lost him, but rejoice that we have had and still have him, because whoever dies in the Lord stays in the family. And that is a quote from St. Hieronymus, or St. Jerome, who was one of the church fathers who died in 420 AD, and then, interestingly enough here, we start getting into, like, a little bit of a brief biography about Billy, which is pretty interesting. Uh, the deceased, the dear deceased, was born on September 3rd, 1921, in Bellinghausen, Oberpleiss Parish, as the son of Matthias and Gertrude Schmidt. Even as a school child, he showed unusual conscientiousness and reliability. After leaving school, he attended the agricultural school in Henk and worked in his parents' business until he was drafted into the military. He became acquainted with the joys and sorrows of a country man and became a good support to his father, who looked upon his eldest son with particular pride. On February 5, 1941, the Fatherland called him to Aachen for military service, and on September 1, 1941, he came to Russia. Here, he took part in the advance on the Crimea and was wounded on November 5, 1941, near Kersh. He spent six months in the hospital without being able to be transferred home. And then moving to the back of the card here. In the spring of 1942, he took part in the capture of Kersh in Sevastopol. Since autumn of 1942, he fought south of Lake Ladoga. At the end of November, he was lucky enough to return to his beloved home. It would be the last time. Barely four weeks after returning to his troops, he gave his young life for the fatherland on January 12, 1943. His company commander praised him as an upright and popular comrade. His parents, one brother, and three sisters mourned his premature death and commend his dear soul to intercession so that it can soon achieve eternal peace and the blessed contemplation of God. You fell away like roses fall when they are in full bloom, and hot, bitter tears flow because you had to leave us like this. Who would have thought that of you, that you would go to rest so early? We weren't allowed to see you die or stand at your grave. Now you are resting in foreign soil, but you shall never be forgotten. And this consolation remains. There is a hereafter, a reunion." So yeah, really, really interesting card. Um, unfortunately, you don't see a lot of these like biography cards, kind of what I call them, but they provide so much really great context about um, you know the soldier being talked, being portrayed on the card. Now, I was also able to find Villy's casualty records. I'll put that up on screen. Uh, he was a member of the 10th Company Grenadier Regiment 391, uh, which was part of the 170th Infantry Division, and he was killed by a headshot. Now, you'll also note here on his shoulder boards, we actually see the number 473. Now, if you see shoulder boards in a photo on a death card, it is most likely referring to the training unit that they were actually part of. Um, in this case, before joining the frontline infantry, Vili was in the Infantry Airsatz Battalion 473, uh, which obviously matches his collar tab there. And based off where the 170th Infantry Division was fighting, it looks like he was killed south of Schlüsselburg, uh, which is in the Leningrad area. So yeah, overall, really interesting card. Um, I wish there were more like this, like I said. They just provide so much good context and history. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment down below. Love hearing from you guys. Thank you all for watching. Happy collecting. And I'll see you all again very soon.